Oh, okay. So we're on air now, but we're having just a little bit of technical difficulties. I didn't know how long it would tolerate me st starting late, so I went ahead and started the broadcast. Let me try and get this link to Lori. Yep, she sees it. She should be up any second now. Sorry for the delay, guys. Yo, Alex. Uh oh. Hey. Looks like someone's joining us. Hey. Can you see me? Can you. you hear me? I can see you now. Yes. Hey. Sorry for some tech issues. Okay. That's okay. Uh, you had less tech issues than I usually have, <laughs> at least. So All my issues that. are tech issues. Uh, Hello, everyone. I don't, wh whoever's, uh, I don't see anyone in the chat yet, but hopefully people oh, will start showing here. up. They'll be here. They'll be here. I know what's good for them. Someone commented on that. Okay, so yeah, Ian Mitchell's probably going to be here soon, cool. at least. And, you know, if no one shows up and we cry ourselves to sleep <laughs> later, um, at least the video is going to be up on YouTube for us to share with people. Once it's done. Don't say that, Jeff. And, I've cried you know, enough over no Jeff. Oh, no. And we cry ourselves to sleep <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I've got like a yeah. second. Sorry. That's because I have YouTube on. There we go. I'll turn it off. I turned it on okay. on YouTube. Gotcha. Remember and, I said I wasn't very tech savvy? Right. <laughs> it's like, um, I'll just get on the YouTube page. Check this out. Okay. So when you are on the YouTube page, mm -hmm. um, Above, like where the chat is, there should be a little three dots where you can find like a preferences thing, mm -hmm. and you can click pop, uh, chat pop out or yeah, pop out chat or something like that, and be a little three dots that'll create a find, like, preferences thing, uh, a okay. separate window pop that's out. just the chat. Uh, okay. Chat pop out or pop what a world we live in. Yeah, pop out chat or something like <laughs> okay, that. Okay, maybe I can like mute you. That'll create a. Oh, yeah, you know they... what it is? I'm in I'm in somebody else's YouTube channel. Is that okay? Oh. Uh, you... <laughs> the main I can sign no, out back in matter. myself. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter, right? Okay. It doesn't matter. You just look like you have a fan named Heath. Um, okay, so any Heath anyone me. <laughs> anyone who's uh anyone who's watching, if you check out the description of this uh of this little hangout, you'll see uh Lori Catherine Winkle's YouTube channel. Go and check that out if you if you want to uh, see what she can do on screen. Um, oh, I, I don't even know what's that, on there. Probably some of my college movies are on there. Yeah, well, you you have a lot of good stuff on there. Um, <laughs> really? Thank yeah, you. I, I think you I have think my reel stuff. is up there. I don't know what else is. Yeah, you, ha oh, you have I'm like scared. a commercial reel and like a, like a reel for, it looked like some short films that you did. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll just check that out. I update yeah. my website a little more regularly than that, but I'm really curious now. It's oh, on my your, YouTube channel. Your, your website is, uh, can you tell us what your website is? LoriCatherineWinkle.com. LoriCatherineWinkle. If you want it specifically voice, you add a slash voice to the end of it. Because that's okay. for all my stuff. I'm putting it in the chat. Bam. Um, we got it in French. And uh, <laughs> that's cool. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll put, I'll put that in the description of the video as well. So, cool. all right. So today, Lori and I are going, going to go over some, uh, some characters for which is concerned by any Connolly. For any of you guys who haven't, who uh, didn't notice before, um, a witch's concern is Sound Booth Theater's first production that's narrated primarily by another person besides me. We have uh, The Last Warrior of Unigaya, which I actually had Annie Ellicott come in and do just one character voice, um, oh. which was really fun, but it wasn't as challenging. I mean, like, she was here, you know, she was recording in my booth. It was snappy. It was e easy to do. <coughs> now we're doing the dual nar narration thing where I have some chapters, Lori has some chapters, and we're both doing dialogue in each other's chapters. So it's a it's going to be a bit more of a complex process here. This is also my um, very first dual narration. This is Lori audiobook. I, actually, it's pretty much mine, too, unless you count the one I did with Annie, which again, you know, she wasn't doing any real narrating. She was just doing one character voice. Hmm. Um, this will be my dual my first dual narration too. So, yeah, yeah. Um, 
and, and then again, unless you count, unless you count the what? first three Our books. Radio of, play? No, if if you count the first three books of a witch's uh, path, which is you know this is book four of a witch's path, and a witch's I was veteran. dual narrating as both characters. Oh, <laughs> so uh, maybe you can count that if you want Hi, to. Jeff. Well, I mean that's kind of, isn't that kind of what uh, audiobooks are. Yeah, I and mean, that's what I do most yeah. of the time. You just you just do. It. Sometimes you carry on conversations with yourself as yeah. multiple characters that's, in that's, your closet for hours. That's true. That's true. But at the same time, most narr- most authors don't write multiple POV stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's yeah. that's the only sense that which is I think which is past <laughs> could be considered dual narration for me, yeah. but not really. I'm just actually I see it in romance things. pretty often, and every once in a while I have to do both of them which mm-hmm. I think it's cool to have a male narrator for the male bits because uh, when I'm narrating like an alien gladiator or something, I, yeah. something went wrong. You know? Sounds kind of hot though. Something doesn't yeah. feel quite right. Well, you know, it depends on <laughs> what you're into, I guess. I mean, it is available under my fake name, which I'm not going to share. Oh, oh, well, we can we can market your fake name. Person now, as well. if you try to look up alien gladiators, you'll find a lot of hits. So I don't think you're going to find me right away. Okay. Oh, but... Ian Mitchell is here. What's Hi, up, Ian? Ian? Thanks for hanging out with us. Okay, so let's uh, let's get started with all right. So okay, for this stream, we don't really have the kind of uh, internet stability to actually do good recording here and have a good finished product. So what we're gonna do is just warm up more or less for the next twenty or thirty minutes, and we're gonna shut down mm-hmm. and get really to business. But um, what we're gonna do first here for with you guys is uh, go through just a few scenes of dialogue and maybe try and figure out the voices for all of our characters. Um, that's what I was hoping we could accomplish just for the stream here. Uh, so let's see, where's our first, where's our first like dialogue, dialogue spot? Dialogue, here? dialogue. Uh, I believe that would be bottom of page 10. Thank you so much, Sin Vasquez, uh, Sin Dalton Vasquez for uh, re-editing the manuscript so that it's more in a, more in a audio drama format so that's much easier for us to do this yeah thank um, you. but uh what, what were you saying i'm sorry oh i think it's the bottom of page 10 we got of... landa and elron okay which chapter is this i i'm, I'm sorry second. i don't have page numbers on here oh yeah that's all right it's the second chapter uh elron's perspective for the narration right. okay so i actually went back and listened to that casting file yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. And I redid it ago. because you sent me that. I think. Oh, what's that? I redid my Landa because I, she. I thought she was a new character, so and then I oh, realized she had been visited before. So I redid it. Yeah. If uh, if you notice, there's a few characters that had like an accent and then not an accent, and then, wow, my accents were so bad back then. Uh, they're so bad. Um, but. Thankfully, uh, Noelle decided, let's not go with accents. She, <laughs> she did a good job picking that. Um, so, but, but I did hear Landa uh, in, in that casting. Um, yeah. Kind of cute old lady sound, right? Like, Yeah, that's sort of what I was going for. But uh, do, did she have a Southern accent or not? I think we were talking on the phone and she had a Southern accent, but I listened to the casting and she didn't. Okay, no, Landa doesn't. Uh, Nancy's the one with the southern accent, which is okay. Michelle now I got to triple check and make sure I didn't give Landa an accent. This is okay. If anybody's listening and is not familiar with the narration, you get lots of characters. Sometimes it's hard to keep them straight. It really. So I is. need to make copious notes. Copious. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's run through with with Landa. Let's let's hear your Landa, okay. um, and we'll just bounce off each other. I'll be I'll run. Okay. All right. Whenever you're ready. I don't see the harm. Exactly. And I will feel more comfortable if the police are looking for her. I handed the Hmm. phone back to her. I don't see you being comfortable waiting to hear from the police. I do not have a choice, as it is prudent to remain here until I receive more information. I'll be preparing dinner if you need or want company. Thank you. I followed her up the stairs. I may join you after I retrieve my phone. I'll be making dinner either way. Of course. Okay, so, all right. I feel like you're you're getting her pretty good. 
this it's, it's just this particular scene doesn't give us much room to work right there's little just little tiny passing lines there let's see what else what other trouble we can get into um i wonder if landa does she show up anymore in the book you've probably read more of the book she does she does okay. uh yeah. she doesn't have a lot of dialogue okay she's got a few snippets here and there but not a lot of the interchange scenes okay so she's playing a smaller part in this book than she has before yeah yeah i think All our right. next one isn't for a few chapters i think our next one is chapter, chapter five. five yeah okay okay yeah, this is yeah shot. this is the one we messed shot. with yesterday can i get okay. a burger yeah oh no now, are we are we spoiling it all for i mean doing this, is this it doesn't it, there's so there's so little context no one's gonna, <laughs> no one's okay. gonna be able to pick it up right okay i think this you ready? is a little bit old but i don't care <laughs> this water is six months old okay yeah ready can i get a burger with fries if that's not on the menu how about tacos my stomach let out a well-timed grumble Either way, I want a large glass of sweet tea. I'll bring you food. And the tea? Yes, tea too. Thank you. We arrived at my room. Do, do, we, do we want to read these? Yeah, let's go ahead and read that since it's... we're just... Yeah, this is my first time too. Again, remember, we're, just, we're trying to figure <laughs> I like, out I, I, to I'm like, I want to look at you while we're doing it, but like, <laughs> I, my my um, microphone is angled, like, so I have to start reading this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the same way. I can't... I have to look at the this or, or the screen so we arrived, arrived at my room and the ladies stayed outside as josh walked me inside a few steps into the room he came to a stop and swung me around to look at him you can go back in the bedroom and take the cuffs off or you can keep them on and stay in the living room i didn't have to think about that one for very long i wanted a chance to examine them and the room there had to be a way out of here i'll keep the cuffs any idea when I can get something to eat? Or how long I'll be waiting here? The food shouldn't take long. I don't have any say on how long you'll be here. Josh walked out of the room. When the door shut, I could hear a lock click over. Okay. All right, so jo I, I, the Josh is uh, one <coughs> guy I haven't actually studied. I should have. I, but I'm not sure about him yet, because I'm much farther than you, I'm sure, but I don't know if he recurs. Well, yeah, I mean, he's not a particularly important character, but he did show up in book one and maybe mm -hmm. book three somewhere. And he's just been kind of like this this weird, mysterious mysterious henchman. And he didn't yeah. really have much of a personality anyway. Yeah. So I don't think anyone's going to really care. I think he's a captor with a conscience. I don't know if we go much deeper than that, though. Yeah. Not for chatting. Or, or, or a not captor a without a spine, <laughs> maybe could be another way to put it. <laughs> He's in another scene. Do you want to do that one too? It's a um, yeah, little later guy, in the chapter. Right? Yeah, yeah, let's see. Same guy. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so yeah, I should be playing him hesitant, a little coy, shy. Are you are you done with the food? Yes. There was a long pause, so I let a little. There was a long pause, so I let a little panic creep into my voice. Don't come in. I'm on the toilet. I, I wasn't going to. He's he sounded hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Knock if you need something. Okay. All right. So okay. So this scene. Look, can we can we do this one more time? Uh, this yeah, scene. Yeah. It, it sounds like you have like a, a little plan going on. Is that what's happening? Yeah. There? Oh yeah. Okay. We have a plan yeah. happening. So uh, maybe maybe you're just a little bit meaner to me. Okay. So let's try that. Are you done with the food? Yes. There was a long pause, so I let a little panic creep into my voice. Don't come in. I'm on the toilet. I wasn't going to. He sounded hurt. Knock if you need something. Okay. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's funny. Then I'll um, add a little sound of a flush. I'm just kidding. We can. <laughs> <laughs> That's up to you. <laughs> I mean, I, I like to uh, to perform the flush with my voice. You know, it's kind of a technique. Technique. Thing. <laughs> uh, okay. Right, next scene. Next. next okay. Scene so more we Landa. Have... We have more Landa here, but uh, nope. It's just little lines. Oh my Landa! Oh no. Okay. Uh, where? Where's that? 
that was oh you the, mean not a dialogue scene but like yeah, a there, little yeah, there was a few lines that weren't even you want to do that one um okay she's on the phone right hold on yeah let's hear more of her. where she's you said she's on the phone uh Wait, when i it says starts with, with this is elrond oh yeah, yeah this is elrond calling. where are you i am landa on. didn't sound pleased wait who's um, narrating you're you're i think you're narrating no, actually okay okay this, okay let's do it this is elrond where are you landa didn't sound pleased i am out for a drive do you have a destination the car in front of me slammed on its brakes and i bailed into the next lane to avoid them breathing heavily i said landa i will be back when i have satisfied the call i'm in traffic and must get off the phone bring her home safe i intend to do just that i hung up the phone satisfied that i could ignore any other phone calls unless my unless my call changed okay so i guess he's what on his way to rescue her or something I believe so I believe so yeah okay uh spoilers spoilers all right what rescue else? who 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 we don't know anybody could be anybody yeah it could be any, it could be anybody <laughs> i think our next one is uh might be michelle yep. elron yep yep all right mm -hmm. oh okay so yeah this is uh this is after you're rescued okay yep and this is your this is your I'm chapter driving. she is driving me crazy is this your chapter or my chapter oh this, this is an elron chapter this is an elron chapter. <clears throat> okay uh Take a deep breath. You are safe. Where are we? Almost home. We will be passing Woodstock shortly. I handed her a bottle of juice and some snacks. As soon as my hand was empty, she grabbed it in both of hers and pressed it against her cool cheek. I'm so happy to see you. I, I was sure that I wasn't getting out of that. Her voice wobbled and a tear dropped, dripped onto my hand. Thank you for being my hero. I will always rescue you. Excuse me. She smiled slightly and released my hand. I patted her leg before returning my hand to the, to the steering wheel. The sound of her voice, rough but steady, steadied me. I'd got... I just, I just had food. This is terrible. I'd gotten her away from the bad witches, and she was going to be fine. How long was I gone? Where did you find me? Michelle asked as she dug into the food. Roughly a day. I am unsure of the town name, but you were east of Atlanta. And you're taking me home? Yes, I said gently. I said gently, trying to balance the tension in her voice. We need to go back, talk to the local police. It's their jurisdiction. They need to know what happened so they can arrest Gretchen. No, I'm taking you home. What? I do not know those policemen. My first priority is not justice, but your safety. You were abducted in your hometown. We know and trust Rodriguez. You can talk to him. If we must return to that area for legal reasons, we will do so when you are rested and able to defend yourself. But- I called the lodge and Rodriguez while you were asleep. He will be at the lodge when we arrive, and your parents have been informed that you are safe. I pushed another bag of trail mix into her hands. When I spoke to Rodriguez, he said he was coordinating with several departments. We did cross a lot of jurisdictions. She seemed content with the food. I kept glancing at her, relieved that her skin was approaching its typical olive color rather than the powdery white she'd been when I'd found her in the forest. Elron? Hmm? I need to use the bathroom. Women had not changed in 1,500 years. <laughs> okay, so, um, so for this one, this one's like... This little scene, I think I remember doing this with Andrea a little bit ago. Um, the only thing I would say is you probably need to, like, you should be a little more flustered. Yeah. Right? Like, you're waking up from whatever chaos you experienced before <laughs> Elrond rescued you. Um, and then, like, with El throughout the whole first three books of the series, her and Elrond have been sort of hot and cold. You know? Yeah. Like, where... You know, sometimes she'd be like, they, won't they? yeah, like totally into him. Someday she's like, oh, I'm so sick of this stupid elf. Um, 
and you know she's got her pride that she's worried about like she's a very independent woman so even like the idea of sort of falling for a guy is sort of inconvenient for you as a business person um yeah so there's a lot of conflicting emotions here but the fact that i've rescued you is sort of like okay maybe i need to start investing more in this person maybe i haven't been as grateful as uh, I should have been in all this time. You know what I mean? Like that, that's mm -hmm. sort of like, okay, I finally sort of won you over in a certain way. But as soon as you wake up, yeah. your defenses are still up, right? Yeah. Like, it's like only after you know where we are and I've already talked you out of going back to where we just were when I rescued you, only after I've talked you out of being crazy like that and yeah. uh going to immediately get your revenge or justice or whatever only after that do you do you like relax and be like oh wait okay it's yeah. time to calm down so let, let's try that one more time okay so you just just woke just woke up all right take a deep breath you are safe where are we almost home we will be passing woodstock shortly I handed her a bottle of juice and some snacks. As soon as my hand was empty, she grabbed it in both of hers and pressed it against her cool cheek. I'm so happy to see you. I... I was sure I wasn't getting out of that. Her voice wobbled, and a tear dripped onto my hand. Thank you for being my hero. I will always rescue you. She smiled slightly and released my hand. I patted her leg before returning my hand to the steering wheel. The sound of her voice rough but steady, steadied me. I'd gotten her away from the bad witches, and she was going to be fine. How long was I gone? Where did you find me? Michelle asked as she dug into the food. Roughly a day. I'm unsure of the town name, but you were east of Atlanta. And you're taking me home? Yes, I said gently, trying to balance the tension in her voice. But we need to go back, talk to the local police. It's their jurisdiction. They need to know what happened so we can arrest Gretchen. No, I'm taking you home. What? I do not know those policemen. My first priority is not justice, but your safety. You were abducted in your hometown. We know and trust Rodriguez. You can talk to him. If we must return to that area for legal reasons, we will do so when you are arrested and able to defend yourself. But I called the lodge and Rodriguez while you were asleep. He will be at the lodge when we arrive, and your parents have been informed that you are safe. I pushed another bag I pushed another bag of trail mix into her hands. When I spoke to Rodriguez, he said he was coordinating with several departments. We did cross a lot of jurisdictions. She seemed content with the food. I kept glancing at her. Relieved that her skin was approaching its typical olive color rather than the powdery white she'd been when I'd found her in the forest. Elron? Hm? I need to use the bathroom. Women had not changed in 1500 years. Okay, cool. That was much better. I hope. Did you, did you feel that? Did you feel a little yeah. bit more in, in the scene there? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, so we got another scene for Elron and Michelle here, but let's let's see or if we can Michelle touch Ron, more. if you like. Mich Michelle Ron, hey, uh oh, we got a we got a real thing going on now. All right, mm -hmm. uh, let's uh, let's see what other characters we can get into though. We don't want to spoil let's all see. their hot all their hot action. Uh, <laughs> we got a Michelle okay, so mom Michelle dad. And yeah, here we go. And Rodriguez. Ooh, throwing a lot of characters. Yeah, there. all right. So we get to get familiar with these people a little bit more. So your first line is from the sound of things? From the sound of things, Sarah isn't on good terms with Gretchen. From what I'd seen, it didn't look like my grandmother was on good terms with anyone, which made me wonder how she kept the clan under her thumb. It doesn't matter anyway. Gretchen is completely fixated on having me be her next minister. Some nonsense about keeping our blood some nonsense about keeping our bloodline in the ministry. Mom sighed and exchanged a look with Dad. That's what we were afraid of. I don't understand her fixation on that. I thought time well, it didn't work. She threatened to use you to make me cooperate. We will be fine. We've taken precautions. 
Rodriguez walked back in, phone in hand. Michelle, they're done with your car. You can pick it up any weekday between eight and five. Thank you. I'll pick it up tomorrow. Sounds good. I'll see you later. Stay safe. He waved and walked out of the lodge. It wasn't long before I could hear his car rolling down the gravel road. Mother won't give up. I know. We need to be careful and figure out how to make me less appealing to her. I told Rodriguez everything because if she's in jail, it'll be a lot harder for her to mess up our lives. You can join my clan. That should force her to back off. I like being independent. My shoulders dropped. I don't have the energy to talk about it right now. The police are going to put some of them in jail, and I'll figure out a plan for the rest. Mom... Oh, sorry, that's you. <laughs> right. yeah. Mom started... Mom started to say something, but Dad spoke over her. Why don't we move into this... Oops. Why don't we move this into the parlor? Watch TV and relax. Landa needs to make dinner, and I'm sure Mander and Elron have things they need to do. We can have some fairly... We can have some family time, a good meal, and revisit the topic when our daughter has had a chance to recover. Mom gave him a look, but she wasn't the one who'd been answering question after question. Sounds like a good idea. Awesome. Okay, so this is this is starting to flow a little bit better. Can we hear your mom some more? Your mom. Um, I I, I think I think you could age her up a little bit. Do you think? Okay. Yeah. Sure. I just didn't want to. I didn't want to get her too mixed up with Nana, because right. Nana has a southern accent too. Okay, Nana's got a southern accent. Did, is that okay? So, I haven't talked to to Noelle about Nana. So is is that? Well, um, I guess it just stands to reason she would have a southern accent, doesn't it? We we uh we talked about uh Nana, Landa, Nancy, and you said I couldn't remember if you said either Nana. Orlanda had a thicker th southern accent than Nancy. Okay, so it'd probably be Nana. It'd probably be Nana because, and like, like That's the generations, the the uh, the accent would probably be dissolving over that. I guess. That's just my reason. I don't know. As a well, director, and I made Nana yes. a little older. Okay. Nana's a little older. Yeah, that's um, not, that sounds good for Nana. Yeah. <coughs> All right, we can do different one. That's Maybe. what we were afraid of. I, I, uh, I just, I have such a deep voice that I typically assume I sound older anyway. But um, Michelle doesn't have an accent at all, at all, not at all, not at all, <laughs> not at all. Uh, but yeah, we can, we can try okay. to add a little age on there. Just, just, um, I think that, but for for her aging up, can you like, um. Think of like Sigourney Weaver voice, you know, like that, that she's got like this really strong core to her voice, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And she's like, you can hear really good posture. Like, yeah. I, th I think of like a, a more of like a Southern Belle when I think of uh, Nancy, right? Like when I think of Michelle's mom, like mm -hmm. uh, a really put together, you know, confident, strong, like classical Southern Belle type of sound to her. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you want to go from the top? Yeah, let's let's go from let's see. Right after mom's side, right? Mom's side and exchanged. Look. Okay. That's what we were afraid of. I don't understand her fixation on that. I thought time well, it didn't work. That sounds so much better. Oh. Sounds so much better. Sweet. All right, I think mother I, won't give up. Yeah. Yeah, you're sounding better. Okay, cool. So we got I think we got our Nancy. You're you you hit her like right on the right on the head of the nail there. Mm -hmm. Is that how you say that? No, nail you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. <laughs> now, is there any concern that I I, th I think it sounds a bit different from the one that you were doing in past books? I don't think that it's a dramatic difference. It's not a Yeah, it's not a it's not important to sound like me. Right. Cool. It's important to just find where you're comfortable with these characters, because number one, it would just take too long to study right. the, the voices that I did. Number two, mm -hmm. I mean, in the time that it's taken already, you know, in the time that I've developed as a voice actor myself, listening back to that stuff, I don't even really like it anyway. You know, like mm -hmm. uh, so 
starting starting fresh with a new actor, a new actress. Uh, it's weird because I wasn't an actress at the time. A new <laughs> you you you've never <laughs> been an actress. I no. mean, not to insult you, but to me, you've never been an actress. Yeah, not well, even that's, once. That's that's kind of a reality. I'm trying to I'm trying to cope with now. Yeah, um, that's tough. But uh, so you know, I I'd prefer that you just have fresh eyes on the material and just i just want your best go from your own from your own perspective i i it's it's going to have a better we're going to have a better product that way because just trying to imitate someone else's voices you're focusing in on on the wrong things you know like you'll maybe you'll get right. the voices right but then the character is not right and it feels unnatural anyway cuz you can hear i can you know the listeners can hear you straining it's like yeah forget that it's not even the point cool okay it's good to hear um the next one i see is michelle and liam and i think nancy pops in eventually okay let's see liam... it changes liam's a werewolf right i don't yes i don't really know what his actual relationship is to her aside from okay. i guess a friend yeah he's like uh he's like um i don't know another potential for michelle at least back when he first came into the picture yeah he was kind of swooning over him a little bit mm -hmm. but he just kind of came and went in the story and elrond's like stable yeah so she latches onto him instead okay. it's like that stability you know if you're just gonna change into a wolf every full moon like why yeah. even bother exactly go off and hump someone's leg every right month Ugh. every time every time every time last let's let's do this one uh, i think the one that are, are you there at the one that you were talking mm -hmm. about? All right, yeah. let's just pr practice a little bit. Yeah. Lass, you had me worried. It's good to have you back. Thanks. It's good to be back. He stood up and gave me a one-armed hug before going to get food. Priscilla dawdled at the drink ah, table long Priscilla. enough. Priscilla. Priscilla. Oh, shit. Yeah. This, is sure. this is the nymph. This is the freaky nympho mm -hmm. one. Freaky, freaky, freaky. Okay about to get freaky in this closet all right <laughs> priscilla dawdled at the drink table long enough that liam went ahead and sat down as soon as he was in a seat she claimed the spot next to him i figured i could save him some grief if i could keep the conversation going in this direction so he didn't have to look at her liam how much longer will you be staying here this is my last night the wolves are settled down and the pack's house is ready for me They'd had a rough go lately, and Liam hadn't wanted to stay in the home. And Liam hadn't wanted to stay in the home with them until they understood that he wasn't crazy like their last alpha. Let's go ahead and skip to your next uh, Michelle line. Okay. I'll miss having you around, but it'll be good for them to see how you behave on a day-to-day -day basis. Liam nodded. They aren't used to a stable leadership that enforces the rules. It won't be half bad to live there, but after what Adder did. Many of them cringe as I, many of them cringe if I stub my toe or get a paper cut. Do you think some of them would be better in a, do you think some of them would do better in a different pack? I do, but I won't force them. I've mentioned, bef I've mentioned it and left some handouts. I've mentioned it and left some handouts, but I doubt I'll get many takers. They may not trust me. But I'm a known entity, and I haven't proven to be violent. They can't be sure what they'll be getting if in they can't be sure what they'll be getting into if they switch packs. There was plenty of frustration in his voice, but there was also sorrow. Yeah, I failed that. <laughs> the the <laughs> it's it's a common th you know uh, that's what one of the pet peeves of narrators is saying a line. I mean, I'm assuming if anybody's watching, they might not be a narrator, but uh, there's often a line and then it'll say how it was said. It'll be like, you know, yeah. he whispered and you have to go back and redo it. It's, yeah. <laughs> unless you're really good at reading ahead and you're like five sentences. Up. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, you would have, you would think that I would have already gotten used to Just doing like, that. Like, okay, so how am I supposed no, to? No, I mean, it's so how, you can't read two lines at once, you know, it's, you can read a little bit ahead, but you can't read that far ahead. So yeah. I, I've had a few authors who are particularly bad about that. And I don't know that it's a writing problem at all. It just, it's just a narrator problem. It's like, oh, yeah, shit, now, I, now you get to go back and do it again with sorrow in my voice, you know? 
you know what gets me is even as a reader that would fuck me up like if i'm if i'm reading something <laughs> Yeah. And I read like, you know, a paragraph of text like that. And then I find out that they said it in a certain way that I wasn't thinking before that that yeah. interrupts my flow as just a consumer <laughs> trying to get through this story. You know, I, I think I think writers need to be better about that shit. In I general, agree. In general, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like uh, it doesn't seem like Noel has that problem usually. No, no, this was not a criticism of Noel in any way. I've really enjoyed her writing. Um, did you want to do that one again or do you? Yeah, wanna... that's, I'll, I'll do that again. <laughs> I do. But I won't, I won't force them. I've mentioned it and left some handouts, but I doubt I'll get many takers. They may not trust me, but I'm a known entity and I haven't proven to be violent. They can't be sure what they'll be getting into if they switch packs. There was plenty of frustration in his voice, but there was also sorrow. Are there any pack members who would do well with some distance from the rest of the pack? We could house one or two at a time and give them a change of scenery. Okay, let's let, with with Lana. Let's just go a little bit older, a little bit sweeter. Okay. Sweet Are there baby. any pack members who would do well with some distance from the rest of the pack? We could house one or two at a time and give them a change of scenery. There we go. That's much better. Hmm. That's a thought. Can I get back to you? Landa smiled and nodded. As I ate, the conversation shifted. Dad started discussing the regulatory body structure of different shifter species with Liam, and Mander asked Pr Priscilla? Priscilla. And Mander asked Priscilla about her time in the woods. <clears throat> Mom, what did you guys end up doing about the wedding? She looked at Dad, who shrugged before turning back to me. We canceled it because we didn't want to get married. Wait, let's try that over. <laughs> We canceled it because we didn't want to get married without you. But what about the guests or the officiator or reception? That isn't going to be easy to reschedule. Michelle, we were planning on having a small ceremony with my clan. They understood the situation and, schedules allowing, we'll be at the wedding when it does happen. As for the reception, we were doing a potluck, so it hardly matters. All right. When they talked about the wedding, they'd mentioned it being at Dad's house, but I hadn't realized that most of the guests would be friends from his clan. It made sense, but I'd had a demon to deal with, so my attention hadn't been focused on the ceremony's details. Now that you're safe, now that you're safe, we'll reschedule. Mom reached across the table and patted my hand. We concentrated on our food, having abandoned it during the discussion. From the other end of the table, I heard Priscilla say. Surely you'd welcome company on this cold winter night. Sorry, that's that's more narration. <laughs> there, there's more narration here. Oh, you're Rolling right. Rolling yeah. Rolling, wait. Oh, sorry. It's, it's under Elrond, which is kind of funny. Rolling yeah, my I, eyes, I glanced at Elrond. We'd heard something similar on one of his first nights here. Elrond winked before saying, Liam, I have an electric blanket you may borrow. The corner of Liam's mouth twitched. I may take you up on that. Priscilla leaned against Liam's shoulder. Surely you want a natural warmth. My room has a fireplace. Liam commented as he tore into a slice of pepperoni pizza. Priscilla scooted closer to him, and he promptly angled his chair so the back was to her. That didn't slow her down. She simply leaned over his shoulder and whispered in his ear. I don't know what she said, but Liam's head whipped around and he gave an honest-to-God growl. Get off of me! Priscilla slowly slid back into her own seat. Liam wasn't done. His voice was rough with anger. I told you to leave me alone once before. Next time you do this, I'm taking a bite out of you. I may start with your hand. Her mouth formed an O, and she scooted her chair away from him. I told you that you were welcome to return as long as you didn't harass the other guests. If you, sorry, if you do this one more time, you'll be evicted and won't be allowed on the property again. Priscilla nodded and squeaked. Sorry. Oh, oh, I forgot. Okay. Sorry. Priscilla is supposed to be a higher pitch. Ah, uh, damn. 
My bad. Hard to do sexy forgot. and high pitched at the same time. Surely we'll just welcome have... company on this cold winter night. Oh god. <laughs> Betty Boop, like. Maybe. Surely you'd welcome company on this cold winter night. There we go. She sounded kind of old and. Uh, not, not surely, quite. surely you'd welcome company on this cold winter night. Oh, there we go. I think that works. We need a. Surely need... you want a natural warmth. Uh, Sorry. Okay, looks like Ian had to go. B Buddha Cat is here. What's up, Buddha? J4 is Buddha here. Cat. It's oddly funny coming into a story somewhere in the middle like this and trying to puzzle out the bigger picture. <laughs> well, they're, I mean, that's kind of what we're doing anyway, right? Yeah. No big spoilers. Well, thanks for coming and hanging out with us, guys. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to try and keep keep an eye on the chat a little bit better. Okay, so this that's a great scene um, for establishing characters. Let's, I think we have like maybe five more minutes. Let's um, cool. see if there's any other spots where we can. Okay, so we got Nana here in, what chapter is this? Nana in the house. Nana? Uh, chapter 10. Chapter 10. Right. Oh, I didn't see her. It's the end of chapter 10. It's like the last. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that is inappropriate. Uh, <clears throat> that isn't appropriate? Okay. <clears throat> that isn't appropriate. Okay. Dad protested. What? Encouraging violence? Did you think this through? Michelle needs an outlet. I made it years ago after dealing with Gretchen at several conferences. Nana turned to me. The scratches on the darts were honestly earned. My aim was dreadful in the beginning, but I got better. She winked. Mom patted Dad's arm. Don't be offended on my account. I may have done something similar with crayons and coloring paper when Michelle was young. Am I the only one who hasn't used Gretchen for target practice? I haven't used it yet. Men deal directly with what upsets us. Women are trickier creatures, making dartboards. So you haven't turned a picture of Gretchen into an archery target? Of course not. I put her picture on a practice dummy, to which I've dealt 19 death blows. Even Dad laughed that time. <laughs> okay, so who's so is Gretchen the head of one of these these uh, covens? Gretchen is her grandmother on her other side, her mother's mother. Oh, that's okay. Um, so Nana no, so responsible Nana. for the shenanigans. Nana is Greg's mom. Correct. Okay. Correct. Gretchen is is Nancy's mom, and Gretchen okay. wants her to be the leader of their clan. The matriarch okay. of their clan. So have we? Where's Gretchen? Uh, is she, it, she didn't have a lot of dialogue exchange, but she's had plenty of in in narration action. dialogue. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And yeah, that'll that'll all be dealt with on your end. Mm -hmm. Does she, is she like was she a an early boss fight or something? Yeah, basically. Okay. I mean, she delayed her. She's not. Yeah. She's not gone forever. I think she's the big bad actually. Oh, okay. She's responsible for all the other attacks on her. I see. She's very keen on her having having her join the clan. Okay, so we got Rodriguez, who we kind of already figured out. It's just Michelle Rodriguez. Ooh. Maybe one more scene here. Does, is there another scene that you can think of with an important character for you to develop? Um, off the top of my head, no. There's some fun. There's a lot of fun scenes with Michelle and Elrond, but. Uh, new characters. There might be a bit with Tammy and Amber, but they're kind of um, tertiary characters. See if yeah, that's know. that's Mich that's Michelle's homies. Um, her uh, her bees. Yeah. Kent is probably a guy. Yeah, who I remember him? I don't remember him either. I might not have. I've read that far, but I haven't narrated that far. I'm a little under halfway through the narration. Okay. Rodriguez, Rodriguez, Michelle. Um, there's a lot of narration. Is Ma Manders a male? He's yours, right? Yep. Elron and Michelle. I think this is a lot of Elron and Michelle for a long time. Um, 
I could skip ahead and see if there's a new character, but I think it'll also be new to me. Okay. So I'm, I'm scrolling way into like, you know, two, two thirds in right now. Greg, who's Greg? Oh, Greg's her dad. Greg yeah. is, yeah. Who are you then? Oh, I have, yeah, I have read this far. Um, so there's a wedding scene. Not going to say who gets married. <gasps> <gasps> who will it be? Vote in the or, comments. <laughs> or how many people get murdered at it. Do you ship it? I ship it. Um, let me see. I'm not, I'm not seeing new characters in the narration. I mean, in the dialogue. So yeah, I'm not Elron, A lot of Elrond Michelle. A lot of that. Greg, Michelle. All right. Well, I think we found all of our characters. Maybe. 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 Uh, there's somebody named Ethel, but I don't see there is dialogue with her, and I'm not really sure what her deal is. Yes, we are. Yes, guys, we are just developing characters. They are. They were asking what what the hell we're doing. What is going on here? Mm. Mm, I don't know. I think unless you wanted to do like an hour on Michelle or something. So got like a few minutes left, right? Uh, let's see what time. Ooh, you know what? We're we're kind of like going wrap it over up. time already. Let let's wrap it up with one more scene. I don't know. You pick. You pick a good scene that that you want to. Oh, okay. Um. Just tell me. I want to do it. I want to do a Michelle and Elrond because I like this whole. Okay. Will they? Won't they? Um, yeah. I have to scroll back up though, so you you can look out for one as well. Do you see anything? I'm. I feel like I'm a little too deep into the book now. And it'll be like all spoilers at this point. Okay. I just, um, I just been scrolling and scrolling. So. Wait. I. I think I saw one shortly after what we were just doing. We already did our Priscilla scene. Uh, violence. Do you, uh, we could do the one in chapter eleven right after what we were just reading. Okay. Chapter 11. Okay. Two seconds after the door clicked shut. <clears throat> yeah. Two seconds after the door clicked shut behind them, Elrond asked, Are you mad at me? Mad? No, I was surprised and worried when we sat down to eat, but we needed to talk. I paused. Are you sure you want to come to the wedding? I am sure. It will be interesting to see what type of ceremony Greg's clan does, and you seem to need a bodyguard. I rolled my eyes and groaned. Don't start. Elrond, Elrond tapped my nose with a finger. You seem to need an elf in shining armor. Most girls get Prince Charming. I get a geriatric elf. Mature, not geriatric. I carried a stack of plates to the sink. All you need are spectacles and a cane to complete the look. <laughs> this from a girl who cannot walk through woods without kissing dirt. Hey, it's not every day I'm running for my life through a forest. In all my years, I have never seen a person so favored by nature who was so hopeless. I'm a witch, not a deer. Perhaps we should practice your woodland abilities. Oh no, not another set of lessons. Thank you, but that was the last time I'll be bumbling around the woods. Besides, not all of us are as naturally gifted as elves. That is clear. But practice would improve your skills. But life is calming down. Or it will as soon as this mess with my grandmother is settled. He deposited a serving dish on the cart and swung around to look at me. I still have the call. Shrugging, I said, so? My calling is tied to you. As long as I have this push, it is unlikely that we will have uneventful lives. It is unlikely that these adventurers will end with the Wapiti. Oh, no. How do you... it, it is unlikely that these adventurers will end with the Wapiti. How do you know that? This could be the last thing. That sounded more like wishful thinking than reality. He shook his head. With warnings of demons yet to come, Varro's medallions around our necks, family conflicts, and police cases? Life shall be interesting for some time. You want to end it there? Or you want to go on? Uh, let's let's just skip that. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Where are we? Yeah, let's skip that uh okay. that paragraph and go out, go to after. 
After, unable to find the right words, I waved my hand in the air. I keep hoping life will go back the way it was, with nothing more than simple police cases. But that's not going to happen, is it? If I were an elf, I'd have a calling, but I'm a witch, so I have the stupid Eldra mark. No matter what I hope, the craziness of the world is locked on to me. Us. We are never given more than we can handle. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> if I'm going to be stuck with demons and witches, at least I have a crotchety elf who's looking out for me. No more than you have done for me. Elrond kissed the back of my hand. Chin up. Thank you. Hmm? For having my back, being there when I need you, and wanting to be in my life. Is that not what a... boyfriend does? It's what good partners do, be they boyfriends, girlfriends, or just friends. As I said that, he froze, and I hurried through the rest. But I couldn't ask for a better boyfriend. Oh, Ron Lesser. <laughs> it's all right. I, I think we need to change the formatting for the, okay. these scripts from now on, but yeah, okay. Elrond relaxed and smiled. I know I have said that my calling draws me to you, but it does not define my feelings. Calling or no, I want to be with you. I never doubted that. And I hadn't. The calling could have accounted for some of his actions, but it couldn't make him care watch over me, or seek me out when he was sad. Those were his feelings. Michelle, I love you. I didn't hesitate to reply. I love you too. There were many types of love, but we'd moved past the love of friends into something deeper and more romantic. This was a love I intended to nurture, to keep strong for years to come. Okay. So yeah, we ended on such but, a romantic note. I know, right? Just to get people <laughs> excited. Oh, let's, let's hear about their love. And there, now we're ruining it. See, <laughs> this is the way. This is the way it works. So, uh, okay, guys. Well, right? that's us. Get um, excited. Uh -oh. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> uh, so that's that's going to be the end of our stream for this. Uh, we may um, we may chop it up a little bit for later as as a promo. But uh, yeah, so Lori, Lori is working on the narration for this. As uh, let's see, you said you're about I don't know 35, 40 percent done with that, right? I'd say um, 40, a good 45 percent. And then um, today and tomorrow, and hopefully tomorrow we'll be done. But uh, we'll, we're going to do dialogue together. Um, but uh, you know, we won't be streaming that just because it takes up bandwidth to stream, and we need that bandwidth so we can hear each other clearly. Um, but, uh, yeah, we should be done recording, hopefully by the end of the week, and production, uh, the rest of the editing and mastering and stuff will happen next week, so hopefully, let's see, what's today? It what's is the 20th? Monday the 20th, yeah. So, hopefully we can publish by the 27th. Of that November. Would mean halfway through, yeah, so that would mean halfway through December is when this will come out. So um, keep an eye out, guys, any of you who was interested. If any of you who were checking this out, you know, you're fans of us, but maybe the subject matter isn't really what you're into, send this, you know, show this with somebody who would like the cozy mystery, romance, fantasy type of angle to their stories. Um, I know there's plenty of them out there. So um, thank you guys again for coming and hanging out with us. Thank you, Lori, for hanging out and, you know, practicing live in front of all these people. Thank you for joining us, those who did. And, uh, yeah, uh, you'll, you'll be seeing more of Lori in the future, I'm sure. And, oh, I think this Sunday I'm doing a Sound Booth Theater Live. So stay tuned. Keep, keep watching the Facebook page, and we'll talk to you soon. Yay. All right, let's stop.